toxic relationship with the media, so this woman has work cut out for her every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Please welcome, uh, in their first joint interview, Press White House Secretary Sarah Sanders. Thank you. And, and her dad, former Governor Mike Huckabee. Now, Mike, give him a hand. <laughs> We're going to talk to you about your show, but okay. we want to talk to Sarah first. So hang tight. Oh, Ladies cool. first. Okay. <laughs> but you know, I don't want to have to come over there now. <laughs> so you're not only, uh, you're only the third woman to serve as the White House press secretary. Uh, and you're the, also uh, the first mom, the first mother the first to hold mom. the job. So when you get those calls, uh-oh, he's tweeting, <laughs> and it's 2 in the morning. Yeah. How do you do everything with the kids and trying to do your job? And Well, I'm already up. As a parent, you're up, you know, 24-7 <laughs> a day. So it's uh, an easy How transition. How old are your children, I should ask? Five, almost four, and two. Oh. So yes, you are. They're so, infants. So, yeah, wow. Little babies. Right. So, so they perfectly have prepared me to deal with the White House press corps. I'm used to answering this. <laughs> I get to answer the same. The I get to answer Come the same now. question all day long, uh, and I, I've gotten pretty good at saying no. So I think my kids have been a perfect you know what uh, you foundation. Say, you know what for, you say all the job. time. You always say, "I'll get back to you." But what is that about? Why do you keep saying, "I'll get back to you"? Well, I, I mean, and a lot of times I get back to the individual reporter. It may not be on camera, but uh, I have reporters in and out of my office all throughout the day. Uh, also, as you know, um, we most of us live with the device in our hand and so I'm in contact with them 24 right. uh, 24 hours seven days a week uh -huh. constantly uh, responding to different questions and so a lot of that may not be done in the briefing room but it's done uh -huh. uh, at another time I, throughout I have, the day. I have to say Sarah that I'm surprised you who, who approved you coming here the mooch <laughs> I mean <laughs> you know I mean is that why he was fired <laughs> I'm shocked that you're here, both of you, even though you were my favorite Republican. Was. Back in the well, day. She I'm, actually whispered to me before we started that I'm now her favorite oh. Republican. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it, it works. It's still in the family. Okay. But Sarah, you ran your father's presidential campaign last year. Did he give you any advice when you got this job offer? Uh, it's the same advice that he's given me in any job I've ever had, and that's to always be honest and always be myself. And if you kind of live by those two things, you really don't have to worry about too much else. I try to go into every day. Uh, uh, with that in mind and never veer from that and so far it's I think served me pretty well mm -hmm. well you know let me talk to you Mike because yes you are my favorite Republican <laughs> and so that's why you know uh, Trump his, the things that he says about women are just horrendous and we all know that so let's not pretend that he hasn't said some horrifying things about women okay we know that just not you don't have to say anything, just nod, because you know it's true. Blink. Having said that, how can you let your daughter defend him? Well, he's also empowered a lot of women. I mean, he's given my daughter an incredible opportunity. Anecdotal. As, no. Look at the women that he has hired, not only uh, in the White House, but also the women that he's hired in the private sector. First ever to give a woman the opportunity to be a contractor on a huge Manhattan job. I mean, you know, when people say, oh, he's this, but look at his history. You know, if people say, oh, he's a racist, well, he's been on this show many times. Did yes, you ever and I send him? it to him to his face. Well, but, 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 <laughs> He does have a history, Governor, of, of uh, with his father precluding people of color from living in his buildings. I mean, it's a well-documented history it's of there, racism. Right. How can you sit here and say he's I not a racist? I know, too, that he is the guy that opened up Mar-a-Lago to Jewish people when they have been shut out. He I know black people no, no, there. No, no, no. He, is, he has also hired African-Americans to work in his organization, to empower them in many ways. Look, is Donald Trump a perfect man? No, but I don't know who we could afford to put in that job. But I also do feel like that I know him well enough. And if I didn't have some confidence in his integrity, uh, I would never encourage my daughter. But he to says work nicer things about neo Nazis than he does about that's President Obama. That's, no. that's not true. No, that's not true. Yes, it is true. That's, that's 
cherry, yeah. that's cherry it picking statements and making them into something they're not. You often hear the line that personnel is policy. You pointed out yourself that I'm the first working mother to ever hold mm -hmm. this job, to be empowered to be the spokesperson for the United States of America through the president. That is a big deal. It that is, is a huge step it is forward. A, a huge and step instead forward, of but and you, instead of liberals celebrating it, no, no, they've no, no. attacked oh, me at every step. Something? And that's can we, a can we do itself. something? There are liberals at the table, so nobody's attacking. So no, no, let's, no, I'm not let's saying, get Sarah, rid can of I that. Ask you though, but, as a, just as a because okay. you as not as a politician, not as someone who's in the political sphere. I agree with you that I think Donald Trump has in, in business empowered a lot of women to oh. succeed. I'm glad he gave you the job. I think you're great at this job. But personally, as a person, as a woman, as just a person out there, have you struggled with some of the stuff that he has said? And has that made it harder for you to defend? Maybe maybe his policy is okay, but the person, the man behind the presidency, is it hard for you sometimes? I've spent a lot of time with the president. I've never felt anything but respected and empowered to do exactly what I'm there to do every day, and that is my job. And, um, I, you know, I think he's an equal opportunity president. He hits men just as hard. Uh, women want equal opportunity, and this president certainly gives it to them, one, by empowering them to take on senior level positions, not just in the White House, but uh, as a businessman, he did that. You see that by the time, and he doesn't just put milk toast women around him. He puts strong, very outspoken women uh, in very powerful positions. And the first time in history, we also have a female communications director. You've never had a female press secretary and a female communications director ever in the history of the White House, and we do in this one. And so I think that there are some things that he's really done uh, to empower women to push that agenda forward. And I think that's something that we should look at and, and, and recognize. I don't understand how the evangelicals can support him. You're a religious person. I'm some of the things that have come out of his mouth are so against the Bible and so unreligious of him. How can you support someone like that? Well, I think it's not, it's not that difficult because, right. well, nobody voted for him to be their Sunday school teacher. Okay, yeah, but and, he, and I think the point is, he, he is a defender tone. of religious liberty, which means he doesn't have to embrace everything that I personally embrace in order to believe that people of faith should be respected and that they should not be relegated to, uh, you know, a let portion just, of the culture. With all due respect, though, let me just say, character does matter. And many of us argued that when it came to Bill Clinton, sure. his character mattered. And that doesn't mean anything different for Donald Trump. The yeah, character behind right. the presidency does matter. But I do think that there is a character there that does come out in his defense of religious liberty, in his embrace of people uh, who are evangelicals. You know, look, I, I, I'm very pro-life. You guys all know that. We've talked about yeah, that on yeah. this show before. Mm -hmm. For me, that is an important issue because it says that the most important way you look at another human being is with respect for their intrinsic worth and value. And I believe Donald Trump does, in fact, look at people with intrinsic worth and value. I really okay. do. I, oh, man. There we are. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>